Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be discussing or we're going to be learning about map, map method base and how to use them on, on array. So this map method only works with an array. So maybe we have some arrays. Let me just make this and say uh, numbers. Numbers. Then we have a couple of values inside, maybe 24 to 3, like this. So, using a map, using map on an array, it creates a new set of array that is different from the original array. So, using a map method, it means after creating a new set of array, it is not mutating the original array, which means the original array that we use the map method on is still going to be intact and it's still going to be the same. So there is no need to worry, there is no need to, so maybe you need to use the original array later in your project. So if you use a map function, don't worry about it. It's just going to create a new set of array. So when you're using a map method on an array so there are some things you need to note so if you're using a map let me just make a quick explanation here so this map method takes a callback function so if you're using a callback function you can either use an arrow you can use an arrow function or you use a function expression so also a function declaration i mean so you can have it like this, like the normal method of writing a function, or you can have it like this using the arrow method. So it depends on the one you actually want to use between them. Any one is good. And you know, for you to use an arrow expression, an arrow function, you know, if your return is going to be in one line, I would advise you to use an arrow function. But if the line of codes that you want to return is much, then you can go for a function expression. And even if you are using an arrow function, you can still use this. Then you should pass your code inside it. So that's just okay. Before I forget, so this um, this map method takes three parameters. So which is the you can it can be any name. So the elements. The current elements. So, if you're using a map method, so this first argument is each of these. I mean, each of these elements here. So, after the elements is the index, which is the correct index of each element. The third argument is the array, the array arguments, which is the array that you that you are currently working on. The current thing. You have your you have your cover, you have your code that you want to execute inside there. So let's just let's just do this. So let's say const multiply let's say multiply numbers. Then we are not going to say numbers dot map. Then we pass in the so if you, if you are passing in only one, maybe you don't need to use the index. Maybe you only want to use the um, current element. Then we can say num. Let me just use nums. Okay. Let me just use nums. Then I like using an arrow method. If I'm executing only one command, then I can say num. Let's say we multiply by two. Norms, sorry, I think I made a mistake. Norms multiply by two. Then now uh, we can console log multiply number. So you see, so using this map, it maps each element with this callback function that we make here. So by the time we call these norms, these arguments norms now. So it iterates on each of the 
elements the map is going to map each function each is going to map the function here with each element in the original array let me take this out so let's say we have an object let's say we have an object here so we have something like a um, key okay let me say we have key um, we have maybe we have um let me see this and just just this then okay. i don't want to create something much so we have another key maybe oh sorry we have key let me just just three here then we have we have uh, 21 let me just take out this let me just, let's just have one number not strings so let's say 56 so this is q1 this is q2 so we can use a map on the object so, so we can have let's say cons then we can see numbers dot map so we have so we are going to pass in two two arguments here so we can have key and one I'm sorry then we do the return then we can have can have this, this, then we create key, the value. Sorry, I forgot to use value here. Oh, shit. Sorry, value here. Yeah, we can have key um, I think I'm guess I'm I'm doing this wrong. I think I'm doing this wrong. Okay, so I think okay so this is where i think i made a mistake so i forgot i'm working on an array so let's say i have an object in it let's say we have here we have uh, this we have key oh sorry tough key and then we have the value of one here and then we have value and this one is 23. Then let me just make a duplicate of this. And maybe this one is key one. And this is key two. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, forgot to put this. So let me just put it as this two to, to make it fast. Then, yeah, I have to let it know I'm passing in. Um, objects passing in an object here so now i can just oh now let me console update so we can see what we've done let's see so it gives us um, let me just see it gives us key and it gives us the one oh sorry i forgot to change the the Thing here, and let's use this first. So you see now, it gives us, it gives us this, the key, and the, it gives us the key. You know, this is the first key, and and because we pass in the key here, so that is why, and that is why it's, yeah, yeah. So that is why it's giving us this. So we're able to map. What is the yeah. It's this, and here yeah, I think I'm supposed to. Okay, 
I think this is this is right. This is right. But here yeah, it's saying this this cannot be read. So I think I think I can just remove this this one here. Then I put the both side. Sorry, I'm just this. this. on error. Sorry, I forgot. I shouldn't have put this here since it's an argument and I'm passing the arguments inside it. So I just what I have to do is just to make this a plain plain one. Then uh, I think we can add this to be this. Oh, sorry. Then this to be this. I think it will be able to Read it perfectly now. Should be able to. Okay, yes. So you see, you see that after I, I corrected this here, so it's able to pick the value for the, the value we give. Aside using using map, so as you can see, I use it for uh, a an array. Then I use it for this object that is inside this array. So and after we console log this, this is what it gives us. So this is just to give you the preview by map and the easy way to understand it. And I don't want this video to be too long. So, and I'll be dropping, if you, if you wish to, un to understand more about this map, um, provided the links to other reference documents that you can use to, to, to understand map more. And in the, on this channel, we are going to we are going to be using. Uh, so when we when we get to the practical aspects, you will see more application of map and how we can use it in our project. Aside the calculation, we can use it to pick out or to copy out a part of the a part of the maybe you use a fair GPI, We can use map to copy out the part of the the um, the objects that we're going to get after when after we fetch so we're going to see that later on this channel so thank you for watching